You probably all know that South Africa currently has three capitals, the legislative, the judicial, and the administrative. But is it possible to offer a single option for the capital that will be optimal for everyone? I'm going to try to do that now. I have calculated the population center for the most populous countries in Africa, identified the main logistical routes, and will offer a better option for the role of the capital. Similar videos about the capitals of Europe, Asia, and America are available on my channel. So let's start with Mozambique. The capital, Maputo, is located in the far south. Although the northern part of the country is more densely inhabited, the population center is located 583 kilometers north of the capital. Given the size of the country, this is about 62% of the optimal. Maputo has become the largest city and, as a result, the capital, due to the shortest route to the sea from the industrial region of Johannesburg. However, the cities of Beira and Quelamane can also play a similar role. And for their development and control, the city of Chamoyo is better suited to the role of the capital. From here, you can quickly get to all Mozambican ports, and at the same time, three capitals of neighboring countries are nearby. Next is Sierra Leone with the capital Freetown. This is the largest city in the country, which is located on the Atlantic coast, 97 kilometers from the population center. I don't see any better options for the capital here. Kinshasa is in 32nd place. The capital of the DRC is located in the west, and there are reasons for this. The Congo River flows through the dense jungle of equatorial rainforests, where there are very few roads, and the main mode of transportation is water. But it is below Kinshasa that a cascade of waterfalls begins, and you have to change to a car or train to get to the seaport of Matadi. That is why Kinshasa served as an important logistical point during the times of exploration and colonization. But now, given the development of land connections, a better option for the capital would be the city of Kananga. It is much closer to the center of the population. It is also much easier to get to the major cities along the border. Next in the ranking is a country that can be ranked 31st, 7th, and last one at the same time, depending on which capital we are considering. Before I continue with South Africa, I would like to call on you to support the channel with subscriptions and financial support. This is super important for further development and improvement of the content. In addition, you will receive good benefits and the first 10 sponsors of the channel will be mentioned in the credits at the end of each video, forever. Thanks, so let's continue. Cape Town started growing when the Portuguese opened a sea route to Asia and was the largest city for a long time. But the real boom in population growth occurred in the Johannesburg area, where huge deposits of gold and diamonds were found in 1869. Look how densely the cities are located here, including the executive capital of the country, Pretoria. The population center is 71 kilometers from the city of Bloemfontein, the judicial capital. And as for me, this is an ideal option for the single capital of the whole country. The main routes intersect here, even the road from Cape Town to Durban also passes through Bloemfontein, not along the coast, as I expected. Thirtieth place, Niamey. The country lies mostly in a desert climate. Only the south is more habitable, where the majority of the population lives. The red marker is located 328 kilometers east of Niamey. From a logistical point of view, Tahu would be a better option for the capital, but for desert countries, the importance of water supply is paramount. Therefore, Niamey has an advantage over other cities. The capital of Benin is Porto Novo. It was a surprise to me that the country's largest city is actually Cotonou, which is located a bit to the west. This is probably the best option for the capital, despite the fact that the population center is 119 kilometers to the north. 
The population of Cameroon can be divided into four roughly equal circles. The Douala agglomeration is the main port and the largest city. The Northwest Circle, with the highest population density. The Yound agglomeration is the current capital and the Far North Circle. It would seem that the most optimal for everyone would be the city of Bafusum, just 130 kilometers from the center mark. But if you check the main routes, it turns out that the route from Douala to Kuseri via Bafusum takes 36 hours, and via Yaoundé 33 hours. But the fastest route is even through Nigeria. The topography explains such cases. The northwest lies in a mountainous area where road construction is difficult, and Yaoundé is still the main transportation hub of the country. The capital of Tunisia is located in the north of the country. Historically, this region has been a center of influence since the days of ancient Carthage. But now cities such as Sfax, Kairouan, Gabes and Sousse are strongly attracting the center of the population to the south. The city of Sousse, in my opinion, would be optimal for the capital of Tunisia. It is the third largest city, located on the coast, and at the same time, near the main routes. In 1991, the capital of Nigeria was moved from Lagos to Abuya. And as you can see, this is the direction in which the red mark is moving. Abuya is located close to the geographical center of the country, but the population center is shifted 230 kilometers to the southwest, as about 50% of all inhabitants live in the southern part. At first glance, the ideal location for the capital would be the confluence of the most important rivers, Niger and Benue. And I was surprised that there is no major city here, even the main transportation routes pass by this region. Therefore, I remain Abuya as the best option. The capital of Ghana is located on the coast and is shifted slightly to the east. The second largest city, Kumasi, is almost as large as Accra and is closer to the center of the population. It is also a city with a great cultural history. It is the shortest route to Tamale, the largest city in the north. Clearly, Kumasi is the best option for the capital of Ghana. The territory of Botswana is sparsely populated due to the prevailing desert climate. The current capital, Gaborone, and the cities nearby strongly attract the population center of the whole country. I consider the location of the capital on the border with another country to be a weakness. Therefore, based on the main routes, I see the city of Palapai as a better choice for the capital. Libya has two main cities in the north of the country. In the west is the current capital Tripoli, and in the east is Benghazi. The rest of the territory is represented only by single settlements around oases. In such a situation, similar to Vietnam, it is very difficult to offer the best option for the capital. Somalia is in 22nd place. The country is located in the far east of Africa and has a somewhat bizarre shape. It would seem that the location of the capital Mogadishu is not optimal for controlling the northern territories. And it is. After all, this territory is now very close to gaining independence and is called Somaliland. If this happens, Mogadishu will significantly improve its position in this ranking. Similar to Nigeria, the capital of Ivory Coast was moved from the largest port city of Abidjan to Yamasukro. And this is a really good option. Look, the crucial road connecting main port with the country's second largest city, and the biggest city in the north, passes by the current capital. Zambia opens the top 20. The country has a specific shape and 45% of the population lives in this small area. Roads connecting the west and east, south and north, are combined in this section. It is here the center point is placed. So Lusaka is generally quite optimally located, but the city of Kabwe, the fourth largest, is also a great option in my opinion. 
The capital of Zimbabwe is located in the center of the most densely populated region of the country. This is a good indicator for capital. Only Bulawayo, the second largest city, significantly pushes the population center southwest of Harare. The capital of Malawi, Lilong, is on the 18th place. It is interesting that Malawi and the two previous countries, Zambia and Zimbabwe were recently part of a single state under the British protectorate called the Federation of Rhodesia and Nyasaland. I wonder what the optimal capital would be if these countries were reunited again. If you are interested in watching a similar video about population centers of historical, geographical, or any other regions, write in the comments. Let's continue. The capital of Chad and Jemena is located literally on the border with Cameroon. Despite this negative aspect, N'Djamena is the largest city in the country and all roads lead to it, so I couldn't have chosen a better option. 16th place, Dakar. You may ask, why is the capital of Senegal so high in the ranking when Sierra Leone was in only 33rd place? It's all about population concentration. Look. 30% of Senegal's inhabitants lives here, while Sierra Leone has a more even distribution. The contrast in population density in Angola is even greater. About 34% of the country's inhabitants live in Luanda and its surroundings. That's why the red marker is also nearby. The situation is the same in Guinea. Conakry has a much higher population than other cities in the country, and strongly holds the center of the population near it. 13th place is the capital of Mali. Look, at this point, Bamako is almost perfectly located if you leave aside the desert region of the country. It is very similar to the neighboring Niger, but for the whole territory of Mali, I think the city of Sihu would also be a good option. It is closer to the center of the country's population, and the main roads of the country, as well as the main river, pass through it. The higher we go in the ranking, the higher the indicator of the capital's optimal location. So, it is increasingly difficult to find a better option. Indeed, the capital of Uganda, Kampala, is located only 54 kilometers from the center of the population and it is difficult to consider any other option. 11th place Windhoek. This is a rare case for African countries when the capital is simultaneously close to both the geographical center and the population center. Sudan opens the top 10. Khartoum is located at the confluence of the White and Blue Nile, which is the main waterway of the country. Before 2011, the country also included South Sudan, and the population center was even further south of Khartoum. Now, in the course of the ongoing civil war, the Darfur region may secede. And then the population center will be very close to Khartoum. This case, as well as Somalia, shows that the capital should have an equal impact on all regions of the country to maintain unity. The largest country in Africa, Algeria, is 90% covered by desert. All major cities are concentrated in the north, in the more humid Atlas Mountains region. This geographical feature allowed the capital of Algeria to take a high ninth place in the ranking. The Central African Republic is in 8th place. The location of the capital, Bangui, very similar to Paraguay. The capitals of both states border on neighboring countries through riverbeds. Similar to Nigeria and the Ivory Coast, Tanzania's capital was also moved from the largest port city to the interior of the country. And it is a really good compromise between the main metropolis of Dar es Salaam and the most densely populated region around Lake Victoria. Dodoma also has an ideal position relative to the main routes of the country, a well-deserved seventh place.
To find out the best location for the capital of Morocco, just look at the main route of the country. Look, this road from Agadir to Yuda connects seven of the eight largest cities in the country. The city of Rabat is located approximately in the middle of this route. And as you can see, the population center is also nearby. It's perfect. Burkina Faso's capital, Ouagadougou, is located in the center of the country's most densely populated region. It is somewhat similar to Zimbabwe, but even more clearly expressed. Only 25 kilometers from the center of the population, and almost 97% of optimality. Fourth place, Addis Ababa, the capital of Ethiopia. The population lives in the mountainous part of the country, while the eastern desert area is mostly uninhabited. Ethiopia is the largest country in the world by area, with an optimality rate of more than 95%. Kenya opens the top three. Eighty percent of the population lives in the southwestern part of the country. The country's largest port, Mombasa, significantly helped Nairobi to be in the top three, and the small city of Mandera in the far northeast did not allow it to be in second place in this ranking. Madagascar surprised me the most. I don't know of any other big island where the largest city is located in the center, and not on the coast. Nevertheless, Antonarivo is only 21 kilometers from the center of the population, and is second in the ranking. And here is the leader of the rating, Cairo, Egypt. Despite the quite large area of the territory, 96% of the population lives in the narrow Nile Valley, and 66% directly in the River Delta. Civilization has existed here since ancient times. Interestingly, if you zoom in, you can see that the city of Giza is 7 kilometers closer to the center of the population than Cairo. And if we zoom in even closer, 